friends in this video we will be seeing how to create natural color composite and false color composite from sentinel 2a data we will be showing it in three softwares that is saga qgis and arcgis so see i have downloaded these three images for my region of interest you can download for your region of interest you will be downloading this one in zip format once you are you have extracted it you will find the subfolders so where is the data stored it's in granule within that you will find image data and you will find these are the bands see there are 12 actually 13 bands one is means the eight band number 8 is repeated band 8 and band 8 a see the first band is ultra blue band and then second one is blue band third is green and fourth is red these three bands 2 3 and 4 are in 10 meter resolution then from 5 to 8a these five bands are visible and near infrared bands with an ir band you will see that within that these four only this eight is of 10 meter resolution other four are this band 8 a 7 6 and 5 These are of 20 meter resolution. Then these four bands are short wave infrared bands. In that, these two, 9 and 10, are 60 meter resolution, and then 11 and 12 are 20 meter resolution. So we will be interested in 8, 4, 3, and 2. 8 is near infrared, 10 meter. 4 is red, 10 meter. 3 is green, 10 meter, and Two is blue ten meter. If we are using four, three, two combination, then it will be a natural color composite means NCC. And if we are using eight, four, three, then we will be getting is a standard false color composite of ten meter resolution. So the basic concept is we have to stack it or composite. You will find many means. many terminology for that like layer stacking then layer composite or band composite something will be there so we have to just stack these layers in single file to get either natural color composite or false color composite so how to do that in different softwares we will be seeing in this video so first we will go to rgs here there is one tool in our tool box you have to go to data management tool raster raster processing and then composite bands so in arcgis they use term composite bands if you are going to nv you will find that layer stacking is there so we need those three input raster you can directly get it from here or first we can add all four bands of interest and then now we first we are preparing FCC. So we have the order is eight, then four, and then three. So we are giving red channel to this band, means NIR band. Then green channel to red band, and blue channel to green band. Now we can go to our output raster. So you can save in your system like FCC one. You can name it according to your convenience. I am writing it FCC one dot T. Click OK, save, and then OK. So once the process is completed, you will find that your FCC is ready, and you can see all the vegetation are in red color. Since we have given NIR band to red channel. Okay. Similarly, for getting NCC means natural color composite, you will go to again same composite band, and now the band combination will be four, three, and two. So you have to maintain the order. You can do it by here. See, so select one, this four, and then click up one arrow. So this is four. Then down arrow for two. So four, three, and two. So now, like uh, I will name it NCC one dot tick, and click OK. So once completed, you can see this is the natural color composite of the same area. We get. and check the the basic bands the individual bands 
This is this is the natural color composite, and this is the false color composite. Similarly, you can do for data from other sensors also, like Landsat 8 if you are using. Then your bands will be 5, 4, and 3 for F, uh, FCC. Okay, and 4, 3, 2 for natural color composite. So this is how it will look. See you can. Uh, you can see here, like you have to select NCC here and then swipe. This swipe tool you will be finding in the effect. You have to right click here and then click on effects. You have to check it and then you will find this thing. So you can swipe from here to here, upward and downward. So this is how we can create FCC and NCC. Basically it is layer stacking or band composite in RGS. And how to do in QGS? So for that you should open your QGS and then directly you can add from here itself. So these are the four bands. For making a FCC you go to raster, miscellaneous and then merge. Here you have to get your bands first like 8, 4 and 3. And for you have to arrange it like 8, 4 and 3 by just selecting and dragging it down. So 8, 4 and 3, this is the sequence. Then go to click here, go back and you have to check this one. Place each input file into a separate one. Otherwise it will be creating a mosaic. The same tool is for mosaicing and for band composite in QGIS. And then you can save here to file or to a temporary file. So we will be going for a temporary file first then run. Once completed you will be, it will be visual on your map area and then you have to click close. So this is the FCC of 10 meter resolution. If you want to save it you can directly right click here and then export and save as. You have to give uh, this is the format in GeoTIFF you can have any format but you should keep GeoTIFF because it will be opening in all the softwares and then you have to give the location and name and just click ok so I am cancelling it now for natural color composite again we will go raster miscellaneous and then merge and here you have to select the bands 4 3 and 2 and you have to arrange in sequence like 4 then 3 and then 2 and then go back click here and then click we are saving it in temporary file itself click so this is now completed the natural color composite and you can see the sequence here also see this is the four first then three and then two and now click close so this is natural color composite and this is the false color composite you can see the vegetation are red in false color composite and in natural color composite it will be green again you can save it as export and save it. Give the output folder and name and then click OK. So this is how we can make FCC and NCC in QGIS. Now we will go to Saga. In Saga you go to data and then you can directly drag all these four bands. You can see these are the bands and you can click here to get double click on this to get this and these bands are visible. Now here now you can name it actually. This is 8 band 8 and this is NIR, so you can name it NIR. Sorry. NIR and then apply. Similarly, this is red, then apply. This is green, apply and this is blue. So for making FCC in Saga or layer composite, uh, layer composite in Saga or layer stacking in Saga, go to Geoprocessing, Visualization, Grid, and then RGB Composite. Okay, and initially you will see like this. This is the default setup. So you have to give the grid system. Then this is the red channel, and for FCC we are giving NIR band to red channel. 
and then red went to green channel and blue, green went to blue channel. You have to keep this as not set only alpha and then composite we will be creating. And now you have to check this also since uh, your data is of higher bit it is not in 8 bit so you have to rescale either rescale to 0 to 255 that is minimum maximum stretch and or user define you can give then percentile and standard deviation we can take standard deviation and by default that standard deviation value is 2 you can increase it or decrease it so we will be using the default one and then click ok See, it is very fast as compared to other two softwares. See the composite, you click here, double click. See, this is the FCC created now. Now you can save it. So, I have shown in another some another video how to save it. Like you can directly right click here and save as you can do. Or you can close it and it will ask to save it. And you, you can save it to grid system. But it's uh, one, one better method, method is go to geoprocessing, file grid and then export export to geotip here see the grid system and object you have to get from here this composite is your fcc so grid. click ok and name it where you want to save it. so like fcc saga i am giving name like fcc saga you click save and then you can click OK. So once created, you can get that data and directly drag it here. FCC Saga you will find. If you are double clicking it, see it is giving only single band. But for that, for getting it in FCC, go here and you see this is gradual color. Type is gradual color. You make it RGB coded value and then click apply okay. similarly we will go for NCC before that for remo uh, avoiding confusion you can name it FCC and click apply okay. otherwise that NCC will also be created by name of composite itself so there will be confusion so you can name it now we will go to for preparing NCC again geoprocessing, visualization, grid and RGB composite and here now you have to, you have to use the same grid system then for red we are giving red, for green we are giving green and for blue we are giving blue and composite name you have to create now. Okay? And then you will be using standard deviation and two for the value of assignments. And then click OK. See so this created now. Composite. Double click on. See so this is the NCC. Means natural color composite. You see all the vegetation are in green. Now again you can rename it as NCC. Means natural color composite. And then apply. Now you can save it as geoprocessing file grid export and export geo grid system will be the same and here you will you have to remove it by see earlier it was like like this you have to select it click left arrow and then you will getting we are getting now NCC so select the NCC and click the forward arrow then click OK and name it like NCC saga okay, and click OK as compared to QJS and RJS saga does this operation very fast so you see the NCC saga here, you can directly drag it here and you can visualize it by double clicking it and new. See again it is gradual color that you have to change to 
RGB coded values and click apply. So, in this video we have seen layer composite or layer, layer stacking or band composite and creating natural color, color composite and false color composite from sentinel to a image.